This is Antec Instruments CS1200 flow controller, utilized for time integration sampling into canisters. What we're demonstrating now is our ability to do one week sampling, which we've been doing for many years now. And we have a, a newly improved flow controller here that it's got an improved diaphragm control for better uh, accuracy in, in calibration. And it's a very uh, simple uh, device. You simply connect it up to the canister as such, tighten down, and use a 916th wrench here, snug her up. Okay, it's got a little bit of a dust cap here and on the rain guard. And to conduct sampling, you simply open up the device, verify that you have vacuum in the canister, and that starts the sampling. Okay, when conducting sampling, you're going to want to verify the vacuum of the canister. And to do that, you simply open up the valve to the canister, you'll see the uh, vacuum on the gauge go down. That proves the canister is under full vacuum, ready to start sampling. You also want to calibrate, verify the calibration of the flow controller itself. And to do that, you simply close off the valve, and you can monitor the time. We have a spreadsheet that shows you the time it takes to go from 20 inches of mercury to 10 inches of mercury to perform the one-week sampling. That happens to be 52 seconds. To make things quicker in the field, you can go from uh, 20 to 15 in 26 seconds. As you can see, it is slowly moving up, and so it is slowly getting there, and it is calibrated. As the internal volume of the flow controller is about 1 to 2 cc's, and so as the sample is flowing into that volume and filling it up, we're seeing the rise in vacuum, which verifies the 0.5 cc per minute flow rate. Now you use your cell phone to time this, and we'll see right there, it takes about 26 seconds. Okay, now it's been a week later, we're going to come back and complete our sampling. And what you want to do is you want to verify what the vacuum is at this point, and we can see we're right about negative two inches of mercury. You want to be about negative two inches to four inches of mercury, because a little bit of vacuum left over in the canister, canister verifies that it did fill over that entire seven days. And that way you have a good sample. All the more reason to verify calibration in the field. Now cap off the inlet, and you're ready to box everything up and ship back to the lab.